What's up guys? Welcome back to lesson 11. In this movie, I will teach you how to add a colored blank row each time a product ID changes. This is what the original data set looks like and we want it to look something like this with all the product IDs sorted and a blank row every time a product ID changes. So, first of all, I'll go to the data tab and select the sort option and I'll sort my database based on product ID. Once my database is sorted, again under the data tab, I select the subtotal option. I want a blank row at each change in product ID. So I'll select product ID and then I can select any function and I can add a subtotal to any of these columns and press OK. If you go down, there's a subtotal row added every time a product ID is changed. If you observe the left top corner, you get three options. If you click on one, you get only the grand totals. If you click on two, you get all the subtotals and grand total at the bottom. And then if you click on three, you get your original data set. So I'll click on two because this is exactly where uh, I want my colored blank rows. I'll select the whole data set. Now if you go ahead and delete uh, all this data, the data which is hidden between these rows will also be deleted. So we'll somehow have to select only the visible cells and then delete the content. To do that, I'll press F5, I'll click on special and I'll select visible cells only and then I can press delete. Now there's a short key to this. Select your database and press Alt colon. This will select only the visible cells. Now you can go ahead and press the delete key. Go to the home tab and give it a nice color. All right. Now you can press uh, the third option again. If you observe, there's a blank row added after each product. Now you can again go to the data tab and click on subtotals again and remove all the subtotals and go to ungroup and clear this outline and your database is exactly how you want it to be. I hope my video helped. Thank you.